Okay, hello everyone. This is my uh, wikispaces.com site that I created. This is the wikispaces.com start page. This is where you will join as either a teacher or a student. And I've already joined as a teacher, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Enter my username or email, whatever I created. My password. Okay, now it has logged me into my dashboard. Uh, this will always bring you to this page because you will possibly make more than one Wikispace uh, site depending on what you want to use it for so obviously this is what you would use to make a new one uh, since I've only made one for the class that is uh, right here in my favorite wiki so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one which is my Clinton High School Army Junior ROTC Wikispaces page this will automatically take me to my home page that I created. And let's see. I realize my picture here has disappeared. So um, I'm going to go ahead and edit that so I can show you how to edit. Uh, for some reason, my picture disappeared. Okay, well, I will have to fix that later. Let's see here if I still have it in my file. So if you need to add a picture, uh, since I'm trying to fix this on my main page, you can either add a link, you can put in a file, which is images or uh, files, and then you've got embedded widgets, you can put in tables or comments. So I'm going to try to find my file. Uh, what this shows me is all the pictures or images that I downloaded to the site so that I can use them. And somehow my picture did not show up. But that's okay. But this is where you would add uh, your pictures or whatever. Um, as you can see, like this one here, I had already added it. So I'm not changing anything, so I'm going to close this. But this image here is where I uh, inserted the image. Uh, you can change where it's at, whether it's uh, centered, left or right. And then you can also put a caption that will show below it. And I'm not going to change anything, so I'm just going to leave that alone. But this is my home page, and you can either uh, preview it, which you know it'll show you what it's going to look like before you decide to save it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save it because I already had it uh, the way I wanted it. All right, so this is what is my home page, and then I've added uh, three other pages. I added the uh, JROTC page. Uh, what this one did for me was um, tell a little bit about ROTC. What is ROTC? What's the uh, mission of JROTC? And then I also put uh, a link to the JROTC's official YouTube channel, in which it will open up into a separate web page, a separate uh, link. That way it won't mess with your uh, page. Okay. So this one is that. So uh, how I put that in there, added that link, is went up here and I hit edit. So this is where I added my fonts and all that. And uh, let's say I wanted to change that. So you would click on it. And it would see you would either visit, change, or remove. And then that's where, so let's say I wanted to change it. Then I would go to the uh, 
website or YouTube or wherever I'm getting this from, then I would get the embedded uh, URL. I would copy and paste it in here, and then of course I uh, put the text in here so that you would see what it is. So you could put in a page or file, a web address, or an email address. And then uh, I'm not going to do anything because I already have it good to go, so I'm going to just cancel. And then I'm going to hit save. <clears throat> so anything that you want to do to your page, any of your pages, you would hit edit. Uh, you can also do other things like um, actually the name of this page is JROTC so let's say I wanted to rename it so I would hit that and then that's where I would change it and since I'm going to leave it I'm going to hit cancel uh, and I also inserted this image so like I showed you before you would hit edit and then um, you would put your file or whatever I'm going to leave it all alone so I'm not going to change anything. All right, and then I went to, I made a syllabus. And then what I did here was I added uh, a banner looking picture. So I created that on Publisher. And then I saved it as a, a GIF. So let's say edit. <clears throat> and then I wanted to put that in there I would hit file and then you would find it um, where it is and then here it is so I made it a GIF so I would click on that to add it and then once you clicked on it it would show up and then you could move it around wherever you wanted it on the page and then what I also did is I added a PDF of the actual syllabus so if they click on it Oh, hold on, I'm still in my area. So let's save this. All right, there it is. So they could uh, click on details, and then it would go. It would go here, and then they could click on it, and it just showed them details. But let's say they wanted to download it so they could see what the syllabus is. So it automatically opens up so that they can see what it is. Um, I saved it as a PDF so that nothing in here could be changed. So this tells them everything that they would need to know uh, for the semester, what's required of them for the syllabus. Then hit the back button. Go to there. Alright, so that is my syllabus page that I created. And then I created a uh, teams page for the various uh, JROTC teams that you could be on in ROTC. So you have Color Guard, um, same thing, I just uh, hit edit and I inserted these pictures. And then I also, what I did is I uh, did edit and this time I put in uh, embedded uh, widget. So I put in a video, and I said it was uh, YouTube, and then I put it here, <clears throat> um, actually I'm sorry, this is a link. So I put in the, the web link, and then I named it, which this is what I named it, so when they click on it, it would open up into the site, I'll go ahead and save it so you see what I'm talking about. All right, so they would see it, say, oh, and th this would do is take them to examples of uh, color guard performances, so they could see what that's all about. And then I've got uh, six different ones for them to view here. And the same thing for the rifle team. I put in some example rifle team performances, which um, I also did this. Uh, what I learned through my uh, technology training in, in my school was to use, it was called the blend space. So we have this on our school website and I also put this in my uh, wiki spaces page for them to view. So they can just, you know, click on whatever and start watching it. Make it a bigger screen. 
uh, however they wanted to do it. And then for the uh, the Raider team, I went ahead and embedded a video. So all they had to do is click on it, and they could watch it right here on the page. So you can see that works just fine. Now, how I did that to embed it compared to this was a link. So I hit edit, and then see I hit my widget, and then I hit video. And then, of course, I used uh, a YouTube video. And then this explains exactly what you would need to do to embed it. It tells you what to do to go to embed, copy the text, uh, click preview, and then save. And that's exactly what I did. And it works just fine, exactly how they said. So it's uh, pretty simple. As you can see over here, there's all kinds of things that you can embed. Calendars, spreadsheets, documents. Uh, anything that you want to put on your uh, Wikispaces pages. So I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to change anything or add anything. I'm going to cancel this. And so this is my basic uh, Wikispaces page for my uh, project, which is my Clinton High School Army and Junior ROTC. Now, once I logged in, let's say I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to go back to my dashboard because I had multiple Wikispaces pages, let's say like some teachers might uh, teach FBLA or math or science or something, so maybe they have multiple things. So they would click on this to go back to it, and then they would see all their favorite sites that they could use. Um, and if you want to, like for me, if I want to go directly to this, I can either click on it on my site or I can go to my wikis, which would have a list of more than one if I had more than one wiki space. So you could click on that and it would take you directly to your home page. So those are the basics for what you could do for your wiki space page, which I know that later on I'm going to add to this because this is a great site and there's so much you could do with it. I know I'm just breaking the surface, but it was a lot of fun to make this and I know that I'm going to be continually updating it. So, hope you enjoy and take care.